I've missed you! I am super excited because today is mail day. Welcome to another mermail video. Uh, I'm really excited to open up what you guys sent and uh, I love you and I just want to say thank you on camera. So um, feel free to watch on if you'd like to see what was in my mailbox over the past couple months because I'm gonna admit to you right now, life's been crazy and um, amidst you know, lots of filming and awesome, fun stuff that I've been planning to share with you guys here on YouTube. But I've also had some like health stuff with my back and stuff that kind of put me out of commission for a little while. So I'm good now, I'm back, life is awesome, but um, my mail pile is getting a little out of control. So I have to apologize in advance. This might be a little long. I'm gonna try to be brief, but just know, every package, I, I have so much gratitude and love and just I hope you can feel the love coming through the camera lens because I love you guys so much. Okay, let's go. So first up, I have some postcards and they're so stinking cute. <gasps> this one is from Salem. Oh, it's so cute. I've never been there. I've always, always wanted to go. My hocus pocus loving heart is very happy. <gasps> it's from my friend Lindsay. Hey Lindsay. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. This is so stinking cute. I love you. Thank you for keeping in touch with me. Next up, we have, ooh, New Mexico. This is neat. Oh, this is from Eleni. And then I think this one also might be from Eleni. Yes, this is from Eleni too. Oh, Eleni, thank you so much. Eleni is one of my Mer crew. She's one of my patrons on Patreon. So um, it's so fun to uh, get some actual a uh, snail mail from you, Eleni. Thank you so much. I love. Okay, so next up, let's just grab uh, this guy right here. This is from Big Bear. Oh, that's neat. There's a letter in here. Let's do that first. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, this is from Regan. She sent me a really, really sweet letter. I would read them all to you guys, but uh, we don't have time, and they're from my eyes only, so. Oh, it's so cute. It's a T, a T for Tracy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reagan. It looks like she made it and she told me that it was for my collection of thingamabobs. Shout out to at books and ball gowns. I'm guessing maybe that's on Instagram. Okay, this is from Sin. Oh, these are so cute. So there's some earrings, guitar pick earrings with little starfish on them you guys can see. Sid and I have been in touch here and there on, I think on like Facebook and YouTube. She's been following me since like I started on YouTube, since the beginning. So this is so, so sweet of her to think of me. Shout out to, uh, let's see, her Etsy is Trinket Adornments and her Instagram is SinRogers35. Oh, thank you so much, Sin. And Sin, if I'm remembering right, I, I might be wrong. I might be thinking of someone else, but are you the one that downloaded my first single fantasy and made it your ringtone on your phone and then you sent me a video of you with your phone having fantasy as the ringtone? I think that was you, but my memory might be confusing me. So let me know in the comments if it was. <laughs> Either way, I love you so much. Okay, next up. Oh, this is from Brian. Okay, and He's smart, he wrote mermail right on the package. FYI, if you guys send me anything, which you don't have to, only if you want to, if you're already planning on doing it, but um, if you do and you want me to open it up on camera, your best bet is to write mermail on the package and then I'll know for sure. Oh, that's so cute, he drew like a little Sebastian and an aerial tail, like Sebastian eyes, aerial tail under the, the waves, that's really cute. I think, I think these might be some enamel hipster mermaid pins because I saw him tag me online. <gasps> it is! <laughs> it's the Helvetica pin. <laughs> Check it out guys, it's legit a Helvetica pin. So awesome, it's hipster mermaid. Oh, she's so cute. Thank you so much, Brian, this is awesome. So shout out to Brian Ohm, an amazing artist. And if you guys actually remember, he did the scary the scary Ariel um, pin that was actually really similar to this. And it was inspired by the makeup that my friend Kaylin Ashley did on me back when I did um, those scary Halloween uh, music videos um, a couple Halloweens ago. So yeah, Brian, you're awesome. All right, next up, this is from Maddie. 
<laughs> this is so cute. Totally adorable. Hashtag scuttlebutts. She put hashtags all over this. Hashtag mermaid human feet. Only went for the coffee. Hipster glasses. Someone is a fan of uh, life lessons from a hipster mermaid. Oh, Maddie, you're gonna make me cry with this letter. Thank you so much. She said, Tracy, I just wanted to show you what I do because of you. And so she has a fairy tale inspired company. That's really neat. Congratulations on everything, Maddie. Thank you so much. This is from Elena. <laughs> There's candy in here. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> I think these are coffee cozies. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got Ariel on this side, and we got Helvetica on this side, and they are precious. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Elena. Okay, this is the cutest thing ever. I really hope you guys can see this card. Darling Dingle Hoppers. So, uh, this is Elena's beautiful work. So she has an Etsy, and it's Darling Dingle Hoppers on Etsy. Aww. Oh, and Elena, she said she saw me last D23, but she was too nervous to say hi. So Elena, you better say hi next time. Don't be shy. Just come on up. I want to give you a big hug. And uh, it's just me. It's just me. You got nothing to worry about. I love you, Elena. Thank you so much. What is this? Oh, okay. I think I know what this is. So this is from Pinky Paradise. And they have the best contact lenses, at least from what I've tried. I love their lenses and pretty much anytime you guys see me wearing contacts, it's Pinky Paradise. Like, like if my eyes are a different color, then I'm probably wearing their beautiful circle lenses or lenses. So anytime they send me lenses, they also send these adorable little lens cases that are like little animals. They're so cute. Little elephants and pigs and more pigs and more pigs. Um, and then they also send, they always send like a little gift, which is so cute. This is um, a little Velcro piece that you slide in your hair when you're doing your makeup so your hair doesn't fall on your face or when you're washing your face or whatever. And uh, they're really handy. And they look really funny when they're just like sitting in your hair. And that's just kind of fun. Um, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see the color of these lenses, but, and it actually might be too cons time consuming for me to just open all of these here on camera, but suffice it to say, these are um, beautiful brown hazel circle lenses. Some of these obviously like super clean containers for shipping, and then, you know, once you use them, if you guys aren't familiar with contact lenses, you're gonna um, keep them in your little lens case with your lens solution. Um, but so I need to have uh, lovely brown eyes or hazel eyes for one of my next uh, projects. And so they're hooking me up. They sent me a couple different ones to try. And um, so what I like to do with contacts is I like to um, try them on ahead of time and see what flatters my eyes the best because everybody looks different in lenses, you know? So you never know what's gonna look the best on you. Some people look really, really good with like giant circle lenses. And then some people look kind of like me, if I have the really, really big ones, I look kind of creepy because um, my eyes, I feel like, aren't big enough to handle that much. So like if I wanna look creepy, that's cool, but if I want to look more like princessy, then um, you know, sometimes a little smaller circle lens works better on me. But anyway, suffice it to say, they have beautiful lenses. They work for so many different looks. PinkyParadise.com. If you guys need lenses, um, they're always my go-to. Uh, little beauty tip for those of you guys that like to cosplay or just like changing up your look. Thank you, Pinky Paradise. I'm so excited to wear these, and uh, you guys are gonna get to see my pick really soon. Stay tuned. Okay, next up, another letter. This is from Tori. Hey, Tori. Thank you so much, Tori. Oh my gosh, this was so sweet. I'm not gonna tell you guys everything she said, but she was uh, just basically letting me know that she really liked my song, Sleeping Beauty, and um, I hope to soon make a vlog talking more about uh, what writing, the process of writing that song and what it meant and everything like that. So she was just sort of saying that, um, you know, that she liked that one and it, it meant a lot to her. So thank you so much, Tori. I love you and uh, your support means so much to me. And I will definitely tell Helvetica you said hi. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, which one next? It's always so hard to pick. 
We need a pink one. Oh, another one from Spooksy Boo! Okay. I love her. This is exciting. It's too much, girl. Too much. Thank you so much, Kimmy. And she says, accessories are from at Dolce Calaveritas. Calav... I'm going to put all the information in the description box below. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is so cute. I think I see more scary old stuff. I'm excited. Oh, cute. A little starfish hair clip. I love this. It's like a little bat. How cute is that? I love that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see that? It's Scarial. It's her artwork of uh, my version of Zombie Ariel, Scarial, that I did with my friend Kaylin as a tank top. That is adorable. That's so cute. I love the bats and everything. I have the tote that she gave me from an earlier Mermail episode, and I use it constantly. I take it with me when I go on shoots and I put my makeup in it and stuff. I take it out when I'm shopping, when I go shopping for fabric, for costumes and stuff, and it's amazing. And now I have a tank top that I get to wear too. Thank you so much, Kimmy. I love you. This is so sweet of you to think of me. Oh my gosh. And to like, let me be an inspiration for your artwork. That it's just, that means so, so much to me. So thank you, you're amazing. Okay, this is from Mystic LG Creations. Mystic Gold. Creations? Something like that? All right. Oh, that's so cute. This is definitely Mermail. Oh my gosh. Look, it's a little aerial tail. That is so cute. And it's like, it's a little pin. So you can wear it uh, as a little pin on your on your outfit, or I'm gonna put it on my backpack where I keep all my mermaid pins. That's so stinking cute. Thank you! I've been wanting to send you a mermaid surprise for some time. Hope you enjoy. Oh, from Natanya. I hope I said that right. Thank you so much, Natanya. This is so exciting. Okay, let's see what else. What else is in here? Oh, this is really cute. I think it's a compact. This looks like it's an aerial. So cute! Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian. Yeah! It's a little compact. This is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. They're little, like, they're little bottle caps. These are so cute. And I, I think they're magnets. That's so stinking cute. And we got Flounder, Sebastian, and look! She made an adorkable one using our logo. That is so, so cute. Thank you. Thank you so much, Natanya. I love it. Next up, oh, this is for my friend Katie. Katie doodles much. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much. She sent me her, her calendar. Ooh, and it's dance inspired. That is so cute. Katie is an amazing artist. She did the animated Hipster Mermaid episode, if you guys have seen that. She's just awesome, so check her out. Her cute little business cards. All her cuteness right here. This is very exciting and so stinking sweet of her. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So she sent me, it's a mermaid bathing suit. And oh, that is so cute. And it's like retro inspired. It's got the little like shorts. I don't know if you guys can see it. So here's the back. So cute. And it has her mermaid art all over it. Oh, so adorable. I cannot wait to try this on. Thank you, Katie. And you guys, I think she actually sent me two things. I think. Yeah, this is from her too. Katie. Oh my gosh. Too much, girl. More mermaid stuff. This is her um, her card. There's me, and this is Karis, Jenny. I think is Jasmine on here somewhere? There, right there. I think that's Jasmine. So cute. Oh my gosh! So she did this one of me from my shoot with Coda. 
um, Faded Fairy Photography. Oh, I love this. So Katie drew this portrait of me, and that's so sweet. She sent me the original. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much, Katie. I love this. So cute. She drew us is, she says, merms. Okay, so this is something that Katie is going to be selling in her shop if she isn't already. I think she probably already is. <gasps> so cute! It's a mermaid tote bag. I love that. <gasps> Thank you so much, Katie. Here, wait, let me hold it still so you guys can see. So it has her adorable mermaid art all over it. So cute. I love that. That's so nice. That's perfect for going grocery shopping or going down and getting some fabric and trims for my next costume. I love this. Thank you, Katie. Okay, this is from my friends at Beep Boop Beep Clothing. All right, it's the reveal. So cute. That's really cute. It's Belle. I love that. That's so cute. Thank you. Okay, next up, this one is from House of Lashes. And it's big. I'm real excited. It is a giant box full of Tinkerbell lashes. This is amazing. And, okay, so we've got the actual lash collection. This is Neverland. Forever Tink and just wing it, which this one might be my favorite because I am a big like winged lashes fan, but all of these are so pretty. These are a great like natural option, and then these are a nice kind of in between, and then these are like your glam. Awesome. Oh my gosh, and then they sent so many lashes. Okay, they're adorable lash glue, which is amazing, and uh, the packaging for this, it's so pretty. Look, it's like iridescent. It's like a rainbow in there. So, so pretty. And then, so I, it's their Tinkerbell Lash Case, which this, I've been really excited to check out. So this is basically just to store your lashes in so you don't lose them, because I am notorious for doing that. So this is what the outside looks like. That's really cute. Okay, so it's got a mirror, so you can actually do your application on the go. And then it's got, um, your three little stacks for the lashes and then underneath there's even storage down here too so you could put your glue and then whatever else you want to fit in there maybe a lipstick or something if it fits that is awesome I am gonna use this especially on shoots this is gonna come in so handy um, oh my gosh and then I thought it was over but it's not over what is this it has my name on it pixie dust <laughs> is this glitter? Is this a bag full of glitter and it's my name? There is some major sparkle going on. So it's like the, it's like the confetti sequins. I mean. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm totally gonna use this in my makeup too. I'm totally gonna do a, um, a sparkle pixie dust makeup look at some point with that. That's so cute. And then, oh my gosh. That is so magical. Look at that, it looks like a mermaid tail or something. And this, you can fit everything inside. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, this is just the most magical package and I made such a mess of it. I'll clean it up in a few. Thank you so much, House of Lashes. I love you guys so, so much. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I tag them a lot on Instagram and stuff, but they are, Probably my favorite false lash brand. Um, I also really love Esquito. They're awesome too. Um, but yeah, House of Lashes is uh, the brand that I, I find myself going back to over and over again. I wear them probably the most. They're so comfortable. But what I love about them is they have a lot of styles that you can't find anywhere else. You know, I mean, you can go to Target. You can go... Um, you know, to like a wig supply or whatever, and they're gonna have like an awesome selection, they're gonna have fun lashes and stuff that you can definitely make work um, for all different looks, but for, for whatever reason, House of Lashes just, they've got, you know, really, really unique styles that you can't find anywhere else, and I kinda think of them as more the, the top tier, you know, in your lash game. They're kind of like the, uh, 
the Ferrari of lashes. So <laughs> I am a big fan. So thank you so much, House of Lashes. I love you guys, and I am gonna put these to good use. I'm gonna have a lot of fun, and you'll probably be seeing these in a lot of my future photo shoots and music videos, and just everywhere on my face. <laughs> Okay guys, so you know what's ridiculous is a 20 minute mermail unboxing vlog, but that's what this is. And you know what's even more ridiculous is there is a lot more, there's a ton more. So I'm breaking this up into two videos. This is the end of part one. If you'd like to watch part two, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below once that is ready. But for now, I hope you enjoyed part one of mermail uh, number four. And I love you guys, I will be back. I'm, I'm so sorry I don't have a little ending uh, visual for this vlog. Um, maybe I'll put something ridiculous for you to look at while I'm talking. But uh, I love you guys, I'll be back very soon, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, bye.